Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you made it home safely. As promised, I told you I'd make you a YouTube video to help you understand how to make those vocabulary cards for your upcoming American history test. When is that test? Yes, Monday, October 12th. And we wanna make sure that we're studying all of these facts that we need to know. And, one of the best ways I know to help you is to give you envelopes. How to study using envelopes in your class notes that I give you. First thing you're gonna do, you'll notice if, when you open up your Google Classroom, there is going to be a document that will have the four envelopes like typed out on a Word document. This is what they look like in handwriting. Lesson one, again, it was the uh, Eastern Woodlands. Who did we study? Iroquois Confederacy. Lesson two, the Great Plains, it focused on the Cheyenne. Lesson three, which we just finished reading. Lesson three is the, uh, the Southwest de West Desert or the, and the, the tribe we studied were the Hopis. And then I'm not gonna tell you what lesson four is, even though I made it, I can make this much of it. It's the Northwest uh, Coast and you'll find out which tribe is there. So that's the first thing you need to do is to make your envelopes. Now, for those of you at home, I like the smaller envelope. You can have the longer ones if you need them. You certainly don't want those great big envelopes. They're too expensive to use for this. If you have parents or grandparents that save the envelopes that come um, in junk mail or in bills and you're paying online, you can certainly use those envelopes. Just make sure you label the envelopes so you know how to study. And you're gonna need two copies of each set of lecture notes. To make it easy for you guys, instead of having to go back into the different Google lessons to figure out where lesson one and two notes are, I am attaching those in today's instructions. So you'll have lessons one, two, and three lecture notes attached for you to print off. And what I'm gonna do is, again, lesson one, Iroquois Confederacy. Lesson two, we have the notes about the Hopi, I mean the Cheyenne, and lesson three, the Hopi. And again, what you need to make sure is that, and I know I can tell from the work you've done so far, y'all are understanding that you, the big key to this is understanding who had the longhouse? Which group of Indians had that? Which group of Indians uh, used the, um, mm, what do we want to say, the Travoy? Who used that? From your current reading, who was the mother of all Kachinas? See, those are the facts you need to know, and you need to know it by Indian tribe or confederacy. So, the best way I know to do is to tell you label the envelopes. Then you're gonna take your lecture notes and you're gonna cut them apart. Now, how you cut them apart is up to you, but I'll show you what I did for lesson one on the Iroquois. There were quite a few notes with the Iroquois, weren't there? Yes, there were. Number one, I am putting in, and these are gonna be out of order. I did put in chapter two, lesson one, Iroquois. I wanna remember the Confederacy. That's going to be the first thing if I'm going to order these or group them. Uh, we should remember, again, it's the uh, eastern woodlands, so east coast. They were mostly from New York. So that fact has been cut off and put in the lesson one envelope. Lived in longhouses. The Iroquois are the only ones we've studied that would have lived in the longhouse. Oh, here's a fact that's out of order. Clan mothers chose representatives to attend. Would they attend? Do y'all remember? The, what? The Grand Council. So the, it was the clan mothers. Remember it was the, in the Iroquois where we saw that women had so much power. Next fact that I cut out was, and you're gonna see that these get bigger. Grand Council made decisions through discussion and compromise. Again, Grand Council belongs to the Iroquois. No, no other tribe 
that we've read about talks about the Grand Council that way. Wampum belts. Well, there's quite a bit of information on a wampum belt. You want to know. They were made with beads or shells. They did take a long time to make. They were originally reminders of important events, but eventually they were used for trade with the Europeans. They could trade these beautiful wampum belts and they could get the goods from the Europeans that they wanted. Next, we talk about women, and I didn't want to cut all of this up. I kept it together. You can cut it apart because you, what you're going to do, again, you need to know these facts for the lesson, for the group, for the Iroquois. Women held a great deal of power in their culture. They were leaders of their clan. They were called clan mothers, could remove and replace the male leaders. Remember, they assigned them to the Grand Council. That's all the Iroquois. Confederacy, and then again, the Iroquois Confederacy. Who was this made up of? It was made up of gr a group around the 1500s. Again, um, we heard the legend as far as the story being read, Hiawatha and the Peacemaker. I don't know why I'm yawning. I'm so sorry. The Iroquois Confederacy was made up of the Seneca, Oneida, Cayuga, Mohawk, and Anandadoga, I can't pronounce it properly, and much later the Tuscarora came in. So what you're going to do is that one set of notes that you make for lesson one, one copy, you're going to cut it up, and it's going to go into your lesson one envelope. Then you're going to take the facts from lesson two, and you're going to cut them up and put them under the Great Plains for the Cheyenne, for three, the Hopi, and four when we get there. Then what you need to do, there's several ways you can study. Number one, definitely study and know by lesson. Know that when you take these out, you can study them. Oh, yeah, these are all there. But then let's kick it up a notch because on the test, you're not going to have envelopes. So pick the ones you think you know the most. You've studied, we've talked so far the most about the Cheyenne and the Iroquois Confederacy. Dump all of their facts out and make a pile. Then lay your envelopes down on your table and sort out your facts by confederacy or tribe. By lesson is what you're doing. That's how come you want an original set of notes because then you can check or your parents can check Oh, yeah, all of these are in the correct place. All right, you know them. Then as soon as you know that, two and three. I'm just yawning away. Two and three, mix them up, spread them out. But you really want to get it to know what to be prepared for the test. Right now, we finished with three. Well, we're finishing on three. You got three lessons. Dump them all. Study three really well. Dump them out and see. If you can line them up, again, you've got lesson one, two, and three original notes to make sure you've lined things up by the right grouping. So by the time the test comes, and when is your test? Mm -hmm. It's Monday. Uh, no, no, for history. History is Wednesday, October 14th. And so by the 13th, by the, that weekend, by the night, at least before the test, you should be able to take four of your four envelopes of facts, mix them up on the table, and sort them out. And so you can ask your parents, hey, I'm gonna do this, time me for 15 minutes. Let's see how many of them I can do. I promise you, if you can sort them out, when you see that chapter test, you're gonna be so happy. You know how to sort out your facts by, is this something that is this something particular to the Iroquois Confederacy? Is it particular to the Hopi in Lesson 3? Is it particular to the Cheyenne in Lesson 2? And I do believe these envelopes will help you in studying. And wherever we can use them again, we will use them to study. I, uh, I have an easier time using something like this rather than just reading notes okay because you've got to pick these up and move them around so that might help you so that's to further explain what we went over very quickly in class today uh, so it's your video made just for you and i will end it i'll get it posted for you guys
don't forget your stream assignment that is also posted and ready for you guys to go and uh keep it crazy and tomorrow which is tuesday we're going to have our last day of testing and so by wednesday we'll be back on a normal schedule for those of you uh in cyberville out and out there that you won't be confused when you're waiting to try to get into class we are trying to stick to that schedule but we all know things can run a little crazy so i hope you're doing well this evening and have fun with these and i will actually see this right now today is monday and i'm making it for my homeroom i won't see you guys actually back again for history until wednesday so we're going to talk about these okay and uh, have them ready anyway have a great evening and i will talk to you guys later bye